hi in this section we will let you know regarding boolean operations so for that we will open a new part ok and the new boolean operations will come under insert features and then over here somewhere you can see the combine option it comes under this combine option so for that what we need to do is like there must be two bodies and what can we do with those two bodies so for example let us start with the first one normal and then we'll make a rectangle and rectangle should be let's say this edge sorry escape this and control this should be equal okay and in smart dimensions let's say to be 30 okay and then features go to features extrude and say 30 30 cube okay and at the same time we are ready with a cube now I'll be making in the front plane itself I'll be making let's say a sketch center line somewhere here and escape and let's say a circle from here with diameter let's say 15 this and features and this is ok back and this should be inside this sketch and trim entities they should be trimmed and features and revolve base yes okay and so I made a spear my aim was to make a spear now on this face I want to do something so I want to do is go to sketch normal and if you are sketching something then let's say for example I'm making a radius of mm, this is diameter so it should be 8 ok and then features back ok this is done now again on this face if I'm making the same thing this should be circle with 8 and uh, so for this I will use insert features and then the first option is combine second is split so but before combining anything I want to use one option and that's sorry and that's uh, say insert features and before combining I use move copy because I want to move my spear so here what I can see is two bodies and uh, let's say bodies to move is this and in mate settings again I will select this body this is very important it, it turns the color to be pink one more this is very important two times we need to press year and year and now I will select let's say over here this face made settings made with year and that should be concentric click concentric and here you can see add so this is done one thing now second thing I want to make is this is selected already now again I will select this in made settings and then I will select which face let's I will select this face it should be concentric with this face the two faces are selected here now again it should be concentric ok and add it shows some error I, I think I need to try try and try so this is cancel again we will try the same thing you need to do a lot of trial and error method over here insert features and then more copy because it is not very easy this is one let's say over here it is two and then here this face 
if you select coincentric this comes here add now again this and in mate settings this and again I will select the vertical face uh, I hope so it works this time you know more constraints are okay this, there is some problem let's say select this face instead of this face select this face add now so what you do is delete this face okay and select this face this is concentrate and okay so it is creating some errors and uh, I'll set delete this face also delete this face again delete this face okay I have deleted now and now one more over here this face say concentrate add so this concentrate was made but why it is not moving inside that's a big problem so the concentracy is done again select this and now this time select the bottom face this one and then say concentrate and say add but it is not moving it's ideally move so we found out that it was not moving inside the square why because the sphere should be more than the square so if this is 50 this should be 60 now let's try again insert features move copy here what I'll be doing is click here click here click here and then zoom in and then click here you need to concentrate add okay this is done remember we did with this face now again click here and then the top surface click here now concentrate now look the sphere moves inside and then add and okay when this is done as you can see look this is now we need to differentiate between these two using colors so click here right click and left click appearance here you can see the color click here and I will use say yellow color but the whole body is selected so I don't want this so in this case open this thing and you can find two objects first cut text root and then here and then I'll select this when I select this I will use a yellow color with the outer box okay this is selected now again with the lower one I will select the color over here left click and then it will be blue okay this is done now since we have applied colors to this we can differentiate between these two now the thing is like look when you click here these are the two different parts when you click here I'm able to select I'm not able to select the linings between this because I want to use want to add some fillet over here so if I select this yes I can add a fillet if I select this edge I can add a fillet but what if I select this the whole surface is being selected so here in this case I cannot apply fillet and even if I try to apply fillets over here the results would be look even if when I go inside the fillet look something weird is happening but I don't want this option if I click here look the whole thing is selecting so I don't want this close so in this case what to do we need to combine both of this for, for combining we need to go to insert features combine now we will use the option combine now there are three options in combine add subtract and common so what is the difference between this <coughs> add means normal addition of two objects okay when you add subtract has again two different things like what you are subtracting from what either you are subtracting the box from the circle or you are subtracting the circle from the box there's the two different things and common in common it shows only the common things between the two so let us start with the add option now in the add option both these will be added together but you won't find any difference why because this looks 
already added but this is not still there are two bodies when you select this and this see two different bodies are there so when you go to add click here click here now a single color is selected now this is we can add so it is combine add this is combine it now when you select this look not this zoom in and this look you can select this and you can fillet this I'll show you the option fillet when you click here look now how the fillet is being selected click here here also click here like this in all the like this over here and the last and final remaining is this so we selected five different fillets and then ok now see how good it looks with the fillet option it looks like a dome over here in the center but this is not a dome this is a combined feature which we have used ok so this is how your option fillet looks and look how good it looks but now uh, you know what the add option is and why it is meant for but now I don't want to add anything initially I will delete this fillets delete yes and after deleting now if you what if I want to subtract something from this let us go to insert and say features you know if I want to subtract this thing I need to go into the combine option but this combine option is already uh, uh, let's say uh, deactivated so to activate this combine option you need to do one thing sorry okay initially delete this combine option which you have made delete yes now this is deleted and you can see your colors back to the normal positions yellow in the square and blue in the circle now if you want to uh, subtract so this option is subtract and not split remember in mind combine and split when you're combining your I made an option of addition so this both these things are added together and now I'm subtracting I'm not splitting I'm not splitting the square and the circle I'm subtracting so let us go to the option insert features and then combine so what kind of combine you are using you are using a subtract combine so now come to subtract and here there are two options main body and bodies to subtract so as I told you earlier what kind of uh, thing you are going to subtract from what so initially we'll select the main body as the square and the bodies to subtract is this so just assume how it will look when you are subtracting uh, this uh, circle from this box so the complete circle will be subtracted and only the outer boundary of this box will remain show preview if you want to see look this is kind of the preview the body circle is subtracted so now make it okay when you make it okay look what kind of box you can see from inside is assume that there is a circle or a sphere inside the box and how uh, the edges are smoothened enough because there was a sphere inside the cube look or else the square was a sharpened edge so this is a subtract options really uh, sometimes very necessary for uh, a cubicle or uh, normally making such internal intricacies are really not possible so this is about the option subtract now again uh, what I will do I will subtract the other option but for that I need to delete this combine once again yes and now insert features combine and then this time I will select the main body as this because earlier I selected this and now here bodies to combine is this which means you are sele uh, deselecting this square from the circle so now assume imagine how it will look the complete square will definitely go away but it go uh, goes away with the uh, uh, common with the this part will also be subtracted the uh, spear part will also be subtracted here okay so when this will be subtracted what we'll do is what will remain is show preview look the spear part will be also subtracted as I told you now make it okay look how it looks
so here what you can see is for example this was a spear okay and you subtracted the whole whole box out of it this remained this remained why it remained because there was some hollow in the cube so this thing remained because it was hollow and how the diagram can you make this kind of diagram with any other yes you can make but it will take a lots and lot of time and this is very accurate so this is about the combine okay combine subtract now again I will delete this combine subtract okay, delete say yes and after deleting again insert the third one insert features combine the third one is common now here it will only show what is combined so what is to combine is select this body cut extrude 4 and this body so two bodies I have selected and it will show only common things between the bodies like the common things will be the intersection things like this here there is some kind of intersection which you can see it won't show this it won't show this thing it will only show the inner intersections show preview you will understand this is how it looks because here it was some normal square and uh, here it was cylinder it won't show the cylinder it won't show the square so what it shows is this look how it, it looks like a dice with a closed uh, if we close this thing so this is the option combine look how it looks what if you want to go for some kind of section and see how it looks so this is how it look and you can see the internal cavities and everything which is passing from the uh, block and then again uh, say cl close this thing now we'll also see the wireframe out of it so here you can see the wireframes how the wireframes look and uh, uh, here if you go to sketch and for example if you want to see the smart dimensions of this circle can you see I just want to check whether is that thing possible or not I don't think so this is possible because this is combined so here checking anything with the smart dimensions really won't help you this is what I feel that's okay now again coming back to a normal mode and this is the combine option here there are solid bodies look which is now combined so it won't show two different solid bodies over here so this is a total combined body when you click here now if I don't want this combine you can right click and really uh, delete the body delete body combine 4 yes when you delete everything goes away okay body delete but now where are the two different solid bodies so here that is impossible control Z so this comes back so now when you again delete this combine which you already made this is the delete one yes and now you will get back your original two bodies so in insert features what we saw is three options for today that is add subtract and combine so to add two bodies in order to get the fillets to subtract which from what and in subtraction two different uh, things about to, to subtract what from what so always remember that in combine there are three options but in subtract there are two options again which is actually not shown but you can uh, manipulate it and then in common there is one more feature that is just to it shows the common one okay so this was about combined feature this is a part of a boolean feature and that's combined